guys. Just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of the Pico Diagnostics battery test. So this is in the Pico Diagnostics uh, software. It's separate from uh, Pico 6 or 7. Um, and then you're going to go to the battery test function right there. And then put in your cold cranking amps and your temperature, what kind of battery it is. You'll hit start. And your connection on the vehicle, which you should have already done, is negative and positive posts. And then a, uh, I use a 600 amp uh, clamp from AES Wave uh, for my current clamp. Make sure it's on, obviously. Polarity does not actually matter on uh, that one as far as the current clamp. It'll automatically fix it for you if you get it wrong. So I'm just going to let this run. I just started the car. Basically, it checks static voltage and then cranking uh, current and voltage and then also the alternator. So let's show you what it looks like. And so there you go. Nice pretty graphs if you want to look at it. And then you got all your information over here. This one is perfectly fine. 12.7 volts to start out. It dropped down to 8.4. On the Pico, uh, it's so fast that it will drop further than you're used to if you're used to doing it with a multimeter or something like that. It's fine. My rule of thumb is usually like around seven and a half volts. I'm happy. Um, and then uh, your maximum current uh, is how much it took to overcome the uh, just sitting still to start moving. And then uh, it calculated 549 cold, cold cranking amps. If your starter motor uh, resistance as well as your charging system. So I'm under 300 millivolts. I'm happy on my ripple. It's charging, it's charging at 100% uh, right there, and 19.4 uh, 19, 19 amps. So I am happy with that one. You can do a quick printout if you'd like, right up here at the top. This is a whole lot easier to do when I'm not looking through a viewfinder. Okay, and then print, and uh, you can enter details if you want. If you have not entered details, you can also do it. I'm going to cancel that. I think it's under view and then details. You can put all the vehicle information right there. This one is a different vehicle. This is just a demonstration for you. Uh, but I'll give you a print preview. Uh, we'll just say no that it's already been done. And that's what it's gonna look like as a printout for your customers. And you can put a uh, VIN number or whatever you want uh, to identify the vehicle. So that's all I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope you got something from it. Uh, this is my go-to battery test uh, generally, and I like it a lot. It's fast, it uh, checks quite a bit of stuff really fast. Obviously this isn't gonna work on a, uh, like a hybrid. Uh, works completely different, but uh, this does work on standard uh, internal combustion cars. That's it. Thanks, guys.